portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Welcome back. The issue of illegal immigration also addressed by head of the Anglican Church, Bishop Leish Boyd, this week at the 113th Synod. Jared Higgs has more on his views regarding an issue that continues to receive widespread criticism and discussion. We are going to be just and fair. There needs to be a discussion about a path to regularization and even citizenship for some. Amidst a slew of policies aimed at curbing illegal immigration, Bishop Leish Boyd is calling on the government to address the legal status of some of the country's migrants. The bishop highlighted a situation where many foreigners apply, but he claims few receive a response. There are thousands of persons who have legitimate applications of citizenship submitted, some of them decades ago, and whose applications have not yet been processed. Some have not even received responses. While giving his charge at the 113th Synod, the bishop suggested that some Bahamians may have a phobia towards foreigners. He went on to say that among any group of people, you will find both good and bad. We know that many of them have made a tremendous contribution to this country. Now, among any grouping, Bahamians included, you will find bad apples and those who inject negativity. But let us not be fooled. There are fine persons to be found in any grouping. The bishop reminded Bahamians that times have changed in the country and policy should reflect that reality. I say again, our situation is what it is. We cannot pretend that the Bahamas is back in the 60s or the 1940s. We are where we are. We must face that reality, catalog and analyze the situation, give it study and discussion, and come up with paths forward that can withstand scrutiny. Several changes in immigration policy are expected to be implemented shortly. Among them, migrants without passports and residency stamps will be deported. Jared Higgs, ZNS Network News. Now to court news this Thursday, the Court of Appeal gave a stern warning today to 23-year-old Tevin Petty after reducing his sentence for drug possession to 15 months. Petty was serving a four-year sentence after being convicted of having one pound of marijuana in his possession back in March. However, the court took into consideration his guilty plea and the fact that he had no previous convictions. Prosecutors didn't oppose a reduction, noting that the four-year sentence was not proportionate to the amount of drugs involved. In reducing Petty's sentence, the panel warned him to stay away from drugs, noting that he would not be so fortunate next time if he ever appeared before the court again. Well, still on court news, a 34-year-old man convicted of having sex with his 65-year-old mother was back in court today to learn his fate. However, the matter was pushed back to a later date. According to court evidence, the convict had sex with his mother for six hours from 12 to 6 a.m. He then cleaned himself up, locked his mother in the room they shared, and then told her he was coming back to have sexual relations with her again. However, his mother managed to escape through a window and then reported the incident to police. The convict claimed during the trial he had no recollection of the incident and was suffering from sexomnia or sleep sex at the time. But jurors didn't buy his story. Supreme Court Justice Indira Charles is expected to sentence him on October 30th. Coming up, look at what, com what company has gone pink. We'll have their story in a moment. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, live on the ZNS Network. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain. Tourism is central to the livelihoods of many islands, and Exuma is no different. Charting a course for growth in Exuma will be the theme of next week's Business Outlook. Among the speakers will be Transport and Immigration Minister Glennis Hanna Martin, who will deliver the keynote address, Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Delon Brennan, and Chester Cooper, President and CEO of BAF Financial. President of TCL Group and organizer of the Multi-Island Outlook Series, June Aubrey, said the value-added tax, which is soon to be implemented, will feature on each Outlook agenda. The EBO will be staged at the Sandals Amber Bay Resort in Georgetown. 
In other business news, in just under a week's time, a key event on the financial services calendar, the NASA conference, will be held under the theme Engaging in a Transparent World. The conference provides a unique opportunity for networking and an exchange of ideas between local, regional and global experts. Financial Services Minister Ryan Pinder is expected to headline two sessions which will touch on engaging in a world requiring greater transparency. And in international business news, for those of you that love shopping online, particularly making purchases from Amazon.com, this story may interest you. The company, in its bid to meet the demand for holiday orders, plans to hire 80,000 seasonal workers in the United States this holiday season. That's a 14% increase from a year ago. Those employees will hold those temporary jobs at Amazon's 50 U.S. warehouses. Welcome news for those of you that really take advantage of online shopping. That was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Sweet.